Hey guys, it's Elena from RH, and this video I'm recording for my project coordinators. So I've got Emma and uh, Elaine. They might both use this video. So what I, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to take a, a report that we dump out of our timekeeping software into Excel how you uh, can take that data and um, do do some simple calculations and a little bit of, of formatting and come up with the uh, dollar value of time that's been billed to a job so that's important in professional consulting companies like mine because that's you know we typically um, we trying to think of what I want to say. It's important because that tells us if our jobs are on budget or not. <laughs> so where most of our clients, we are we don't get to bill just however many hours we work. Uh, that's pretty rare. That's called time and materials billing. Uh, so most of our clients, we give, them, we give them what's called a lump sum fee. And so we need to know, have we charged more or, or less than that amount to the job in our, in our timekeeping software? That tells us if we came in on budget or not. So I've got the spreadsheet sheet open here, and uh, I'm going to do some more videos too that cover Excel basics. But this is this is one that I wanted to do, especially for Emma. So <clears throat> we've got the uh, the spreadsheet open here. This is what comes right out of our t our timekeeping software. We use software called Paycom, but uh, Deltek is another popular one that that uh, people in the AEC architecture, engineering, and construction industries use, and I'm, I'm sure there's others. Uh, before we used a, a software called Time Camp, which which I liked, it's pretty good. So the first thing we want to do is, is we want to get rid of the data that we don't need. So I'm gonna just come in here and start deleting the columns we don't need. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this first column here. We don't need that. Okay, so we don't need uh, A. I'm gonna leave first name and last name, but I don't need department, allocation, pay class, badge, punch in or punch out time, allocation, earn code. Okay, now I do, we do wanna keep the hours because we're gonna use that in our calculations. Okay, we don't need these approval dates, tax profile, home department, home job code. We don't need any of this stuff. So the next thing we need we don't need the job name or job description, but we do want to keep this uh, dis, uh, distributed, this is distributed labor task description. It just has the name of the task that the employee billed their time to. And that's important for us because uh, we typically bill the client by task, so the client will see the tasks on their invoice. Um, and that also gives us an idea of if, if we went over budget, where did that happen? Was it in the office or the field? Okay, we can delete this last column, we don't need it. So when we're done, we just have these four columns, employee name, the hours earned, and the, the task, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I, they've got this filter set up, we don't need it, so I'm gonna just uh, come over here, I think it's on the data page, and I'm gonna just turn off the filter. <clears throat> okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and rename this, so I'm just gonna call this task name. Okay, and then we're gonna say hours build. Okay, and then uh, over here we have the employee name. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna um, combine those. So I'm gonna just say team 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 member name. We're gonna put those in one uh, row, and we can do that with the concatenate function. So we'll concatenate this. Uh, then we're going to do a space, and then we'll do uh, this. Okay, so that just that just puts the employee name uh, together. Okay, and I'm I'm one of those difficult people uh, that doesn't use his uh, first name. Oops. I use my, uh, I go by my middle name, so nobody's gonna know who Scott is. So let's just fix that. So people know who that is. Okay. So once we do that, we can then take these values here and we're just gonna copy them. 
Okay, and then we're just going to paste them right back into the same row, but we're going to paste the values. Okay, what that means is I can now get rid of these first two columns. Okay, so this is almost everything we need. Okay, we're going to we're going to add a couple columns here uh, in a minute. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead. The next thing we, we need to do is we want to sort this data. We're going to do a two-level sort in Excel. And what we want to do is we want to sort first by the task. So we want all the time billed to task one together. And then we're going to sort by employee, in, uh, by team member name, because each team member is going to bill at a different rate. You're going to see why that's important. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our data. We're going to go on the data tab of the ribbon to the sort button. And we're going to uh, say our data has headers. We're going to sort first by task name. And then we're going to add a level. We're going to say then, once you've sorted by task name, sort by team member name, A to Z, and we'll hit OK. So you can see all what we call task zero, all that time now has been grouped together. And it's in alphabetical order by team member name. That's exactly what we need. Okay, and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a couple of blank rows between each task because we're going to have some subtotals there, which you'll see in a minute. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to go ahead and save that now save those changes okay now we're we're just about ready to calculate how much what the dollar value is in in total time charged okay so to do that though we need to add a couple rows so we're gonna add a couple new rows okay so we're gonna add a, a row for hourly rate and we're gonna add a row for um, uh, I'm gonna call it uh, amount all right, and I'm going to go ahead and make this our font. Okay. So now what you have to do is you have to you have to get the hourly rate uh, for each of our employees. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up. So give me a second here and I'll pull up our hourly rate. So I'm going to pull up our hourly rates for 2023. And then we're going to plug in these hourly rates for each employee. So there's our rates. I'm going to just move these over here. Okay, so Austin's hourly rate is 85. Okay, and then we're just going to copy it down. Now, if you're in a, a hardcore Excel person, you, hopefully you aren't watching this video, but if you are, uh, you're going to know there's an easy way to do this. So we don't have to duplicate this. We could link to it to another cell somewhere, but um, this is just easier. Um, so this is the way I'm going to do it. Uh, it's not elegant, but it is easy. Okay, so uh, Brittany is um, our junior. Uh, let's see, she's a junior mapper, so that's 115. Okay, Danny is a project land surveyor, so he's going out at 190. Okay, Elaine is a project coordinator, she's going out at 115. Okay, and Nikki is uh, a, a CAD tech. She's also going out at 85. Okay, and then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select these, and I'm going to uh, hit this on the home page. I'm going to come over here on, on the number section of the ribbon and hit the dollar sign. That just makes that formatted as, as money, as currency. Okay, now we want to know what was the cost for Austin's hour and a half. Okay, so to do that, we just say equals, we're going to put a function in here, equals the hours Austin build times his hourly rate. So that charge to the job, that hour and a half, was $127.50. And then we can just copy this down. Okay. All right, now, <clears throat> what we want to know after that is uh, we want some totals. 
Okay, so if this is actually a subtotal, so I'm just going to come over here and we're going to say subtotal. Okay, I'm going to make that bold. Okay, and then we're going to do another function here. We're going to use the sum function and we're just going to sum these up. Okay, and then I'll bold that. Okay, so what that means. If you get these little numbers, that just means you need a little more room in your column. You can come up and widen your column. So that means for this first task, we build $11,000. Okay. Now, I know we didn't have that much in coordination. What happened is we got some time built here to the wrong task. So you could actually move that if you wanted. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe I will do that in, in a little bit here. But let's go ahead and, and do the same uh same thing for our uh, our other tasks. We only have a couple more, and uh, you can see um, we probably can combine task two and task three here. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that. Okay, um, just because we only had a little bit of time, build the task three. All right, so now we can just go in and we can do that same thing. So we're going to plug in the hourly rates here. You know, and, and you can just if you, if it's easier, you can look up and say, all right, Danny's 190. Okay, Brittany is 115. Oh, you know what? I missed it. There's another task here. Sorry, this is task one. Boundary research. So, <clears throat> okay, then we can just copy this down. Okay, we could copy the formula down. And when you do that, sometimes you got to double check and make sure this isn't grabbing too much. It is. So I want to start it at 31. See, that's the first row there. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to do that for all the rows. So it won't take me very long. Let's just go ahead and get that done. So we'll plug Danny's time in. Let's see, I don't remember my rate, 225. Okay, Matthew's going to be 115, like Britt. And then we got 115, and Danny's 190. Okay, so that's all done. We can go ahead and paste in our other function here to do the multiplication. And then we're going to just copy this down again so we can get our subtotal. Okay, and we got to make sure we get the right start here. So in the range, it's E38 will take us to the top. Okay. All right, then we got one more left. So task four was for the line staking. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did before. Plug in the hourly rates for these folks. hourly rates in for that task, make a money, copy our multiplication function down, and copy our subtotal down. <clears throat> okay, fix this because it's going to start in the wrong spot. We want to start it on row 71. Okay, so now we've got all our tasks in here. Okay, but what we want to do is figure out what was the total charge. Okay, so we can just do that here. We can say grand total. Okay, and we'll make that bold. Okay, and we're going to do the sum function again, but this time, instead of selecting what's called a range, we're going to select individual numbers. So we're going to say, grab this one, then we're going to type a comma, that one, comma, that one, comma, that one, and then we're going to do a right parenthesis enter, okay, and that gives us the total for the job, okay? And then what we can do down here is we can just rename this, say TDR. Okay, now there's one thing that is a little bit different. And this video is going to go a little bit long, but 
what we want to do here is we want to separate out our field time because we bill our, our our field crew time gets billed at a field crew rate which is actually going to make this bill a little less expensive okay now what you have to do is you have to you have to go in and figure out roughly how many field days do you have okay <clears throat> and that and that gets a little bit tricky but um, so what we can do here is we can say all right Brit had two days Okay, that was two of the days that Danny was out, right? Danny was out almost every day. So Danny was out three days, okay? So we know Danny was out three days, and I know I was out, uh, I was out one day. I was out one day. I was out one day, and Danny was out three days for the staking. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna rename this. We're gonna say office. Okay, and then we're gonna <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, just make a copy of this, and we're gonna oop. We're gonna call it field. Okay, and what we want to do now is we want to go in and delete whatever we think was field time. We want to delete out of here. Okay, now I know for this task, everything on this task was was done in the field. Okay, um, except for uh, it looks like a, those two entries of my hours. Okay, now if you're the project coordinator, and you don't know this. You gotta you gotta go talk to your project survey. They'll be able to tell you. Okay, and all of this time under the field survey should have been field time. Okay, except for again, I think for for a couple of my hours. Okay, so we're gonna delete all this, right? And it's okay because this, this time is gonna get counted in the in the field time. All right, let's see here. Okay. Okay, so what this means is uh, we've got seventeen thousand dollars in office time. Oh, I did that. I did that on the exact opposite sheet. All right, so if you're a doof like me, then you gotta do something like this. So don't do what I just did. Okay. All right, so we got $17,000 in the field. Now we need to come over and figure out roughly how many field days do we have, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just come over here and I'm gonna say, all right, uh, okay, so we don't need any of this office time. We only want our field time. Okay, so none of the research counts. Oop, that's all office time. Okay. All right, so these are the tasks with the field time. These two tasks and my hours come out, these little hours here, because they were in the other sheet, the office, the office sheet. Okay, so. Let's do this one first because it'll be easier. So I think we got three full days with Danny and uh, and some combination of Britt or Matthew, and then um, I, I had a full day out with a Robin as well. So I think we've got four full days here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to say, all right, we've got four full days. Okay, so we'll say, um, we're going to copy this down, and we're going to say, all right, we got four full days. So equals four, four days, and we're going to say at 10 hours a day. Okay, and this is, we'll just call this field crew one. Okay, and then we want to total that, okay, but we need our hourly rate. So our field crew rate, hourly rate is $230 an hour. We'll make that money. Okay, and then we're just going to do the same formula. So we're going to say 40 times. 230. Okay, so we got $9,200 for field crew one. Okay. Um, and, a, and actually, that was, so I only had a day, and then Danny had three days, so it's actually going to look like this. So Danny had, Danny had, it's better to do it with a formula. He had three days at 10 hours a day. And then we can just copy this down. Okay. 
All right, so let's add a couple rows here, and then we'll figure out. That was for the line staking, but we had some we had some days for um, for the boundary survey. Now I happen to know that was almost all Danny and Britt. Um, Matthew rotated in there a little bit, I think. So uh, that's easy. We can just count how many days Danny had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see he's got about an average of. He's got a couple short days there, um, so we'll call it. We're gonna round that to nine ten-hour days. Okay. So we're gonna say equals nine times ten, so ninety hours of crew time, and this is for the boundary. Okay. Again, two hundred thirty dollars an hour, and we'll copy this function over. Okay, and then we can total this, just subtotal this, just like we did above. Okay, so this is going to be 51. This is going to be where the range starts to 53. Okay, and then we can delete these. So the field time is a, is a little bit trickier. <clears throat> okay. All right. So we had about thirty thousand dollars in field time, and we had about seventeen thousand dollars in office time. Okay. And I happen to know on this job our budget was a little, just a little tad over fifty thousand. Um, and so uh, Danny did a good job on this. We brought this in right under budget. So good job, Danny. All right, so then we can save that. And uh, what, the way we save these is we save it in the billing folder. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna put mine in my documents. Um, and then the way we name that is we do the date so 230926TDR, and then that's going to go, save that, that's going to go in the billing folder. Okay? All right, I hope that helps Emma.